It's been so long since my last video, I wanted to give you all an idea of what I've been up to. Back in the summer, I finished up my version 2.0 of my Vendelanda Roman Fort, and made a few videos about it. They were fun, and the site got some pretty good activity on Steam. But I realized that I had now pushed the technology to its limits. Past them, even. For one thing, these roof lines, in a Roman context, just don't work. Roman roofs were shallow, low-pitched, very distinctive. My build, for all its attempts at realism, was still a world away from being Roman. And that made me think of all the other various Roman bits that were missing from the software. Arms, armor, standards, altars, columns, amphorae, mugs, plates, tableware. Plus, just general game world things that were missing. Iron grates, window shutters, tours. So I gave myself a task. I decided to start a new, fresh Roman build. A house from Pompeii known as the House of Sallust. In building it, I'd identify what was missing from its Romanness, and I'd teach myself how to create it. I spent much of the late summer learning how to build 3D models in Blender, and how to manipulate textures in GIMP. Though my initial attempts weren't terribly promising, eventually they bore fruit. And by the end of the summer, I had created mods for medieval engineers to add colored walls, marble columns, painted frescoes, working doors, and even wrought ironwork to the game, and to the House of Sallust. I was able to create some initial mini walkthroughs of the house, and I even planned to expand into full-blown videos. Then, October 18th happened. That's when medieval engineers unveiled a massive update taking its tiny flat worlds into full spherical planets with a ton of new features and opportunities. Sadly, as happens in early access games, that massive update broke much that had come before. My House of Sallust, Vindolanda, Housesteads, and Grey Mantle were all left behind, saddled with broken textures, broken daylight, and increasingly broken mechanics. Undeterred, I went right back to work. I mean, after all, we now had planets. I could create more than one Hadrian's Wall fort. I could create multiple forts, and the wall itself. So I worked for two more months, recreating Vindolanda 3.0, terraforming the new planet, trying to get the land contours right, adding in my new modded roofs, doors and shutters, accessories, learning how to recreate the old modded cobblestone streets, etc. And I had just about gotten the fort in town back into recognizable form when another major update came out. Turns out there were bugs lurking in the planet's build. Big, world-breaking bugs. Two more months of rebuilding Vindolanda 3.0 were now toast. So right at the moment my plans for Hadrian's Wall and Vindolanda 4.0 are on hold. But that's because in the near future the game will be able to support them even better than ever. In the meantime, I'm still learning more and more about the game's systems and how to model. I've created functional books in the game, which actually open and close on command. I found and refitted beautiful scans of the 12th century Lewis Chessman from Scan the World, and I've put them into a mod that lets people play with real history. And my most recent creation takes the rage quit out of a broken cart. It's just a simple lever jack that can actually lift up any dynamic object off the ground so you can actually repair it, finally. I've begun a Patreon page as a kind of motivator and as an expression of thanks for all the support I've had over the past year and a half. If you like what I've created and would like to help support my work going forward, I'd be honored if you'd sponsor me. The link is in the description. I'm hoping to be back soon with new builds to show off and new worlds to walk you through. A multiple mile stretch of Hadrian's Wall a reconstruction of all the known streets at Herculaneum, a planet's version of 13th century gray mantle, plus mod after mod to enhance the game and help add to its depth and fun. Thanks all for watching and for the support.